Now, it remains one of the most shocking crimes in British history. Just a month before his third birthday, James Bulger was abducted and murdered by 10-year-old boys Robert Thompson and John Venables. And almost 30 years on from that devastating day, Jane Bulger's mother, Denise Fergus, is still fighting to keep one of her son's killers behind bars. Well, she's joining us now uh, alongside the chairwoman of the James Bulger Memorial Trust, Kim Darby. Welcome, Kim. Welcome. Uh, lovely, to lovely to see you. And lovely to see you again. Lovely it's, to see you it's, too, it's, as well. Oh, no. always, it's been too long. It has, it has been, been actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's always, it, yeah, obviously, it's always a, it's a very sad moment when we, when we sit down and, and talk about. Um, James, so the book that you released, and I've, I've got, oh, I've got it here, um, and um, and this, you say, was really reacted to very well. People were coming up saying what it did was take him away from being a headline yeah. and made him yeah. a person. Yeah, I mean the amount of people that you know stop me in shopping centres and stuff and say I've read your book. And it feels to me like you brought your little boy alive again. Yeah. Mm. But that's what that was the intentions about writing the book because everybody's seen James just as a picture. But as I wanted to make James's memory alive again and let people know exactly what James was like and the short life that he lived. And so the book, what you've done is you've reissued it, but you've added some extra chapters yeah. because this story is ever evolving and mm. changing. Um, and as we all know, uh, the boys were released in 2001. They've served eight years in prison. They were given new identities. Thompson has not reoffended, but Venables has. In 2010, he was sentenced to two years in prison after admitting downloading and distributing indecent images of children. 2013, he was released, but in January 2018, he was charged again over indecent child images. He was jailed for 40 months for possessing a thousand indecent images of children and a paedophile manual. He was a refused parole in 2020 and he's made a new bid for freedom with another parole hearing expected this year. This has been half of your life fighting yeah. for James yeah. and this is continuing. You yeah. do not want to see him out. I don't trust him. Um, you know, if, if he gets out, I know for a fact we're going to end up with another case like James's uh, because he's so used to being locked up now in prison. He's not looking over his shoulders anymore. He's got people protecting him. You know, he's getting the best attention he can possibly get. If he gets released, he's going to be looking over his shoulder. Through his own stupidity, he released a photo of himself through social media. Um, so he's just going to be fearing his life. So I think, what is he going to do again to get back into that prison where he feels safe again? I suppose there has to be a counter argument that says Robert Thompson hasn't reoffended. He's carried on with his. As far as we life. are aware. Um, as far as Venables is concerned, do you believe that there is a chance of any sort of rehabilitation? No. Um, he was given that chance uh, twice since James was taken from me and, you know, he blew, he blew them chances. Mm -hmm. I think now he should remain in prison. In the beginning, I did say, you know, if he's on an adult prison sentence then, you know, I wouldn't have took it as far as I have done. I would have been living a normal life now. Um, but because they weren't properly punished, I would say one of them or both of them are going to go on to their friends. Yeah. That's exactly what he's done. So where are you at with this fight now? Because I know that you, last summer, you had a meeting with Dominic Raab, which gave you a, a lot of hope. I mean, obviously then we had the situation with Liz Truss and he was yeah. taken away from oh. his position and now he's back, <laughs> he's reinstated. So are you hoping that change might be on the horizon? Because he did mention something to you at yeah. that time. Um, yeah, he said. I believe, I strongly believe that I am in touch, touch and distance now of getting justice for one of my son's killers. Mm -hmm. I don't ever want him to see the lights of day again. I don't think he deserves to see the lights of day again. Mm. Well, Do Dominic Rabb is the, is the Justice Secretary and, and you, the Ministry of Justice could intervene on parole board decisions. That is, that is the, the potential outcome here. Mm. And is that what it is that you're fighting for, that there has to be something that looks above the parole board in some cases. Yeah, I mean, I, I would like something to be put in place which I think Tom Rook is going to work on. Um, I think he's going to bring in new laws and I'm hoping he does. Mm. I'm hoping, you know, what was said to us in that room, he, I'm sure he will carry it through because mm. I absolutely trust him. How many politicians have you spoken to over the years? Mm. Oh, God. Um, Endless. Yeah. <laughs> but I just don't... I feel... I spoke to so many and, you know, I just felt every time I come out of the meetings, I was thinking to myself, I didn't feel like they were listening. 
bit deflated. Yeah, is this just, the first time you've come out and the thought you were listening time. to yeah. But do you know what I mean? When I, I was speaking to Dominic, he said something and I just froze in the moment. So he carries on talking, whereas I was still listening to what he had just said because I couldn't believe what I was hearing. And Kim just kind of grabbed hold of me and we were like... And I'm still thinking, have I just said right? So because it was, it was positive. Mm. It was a positive reaction. Yeah. Can you say from... what he said? Yeah. <laughs> no, I think it. what it is with Dominic, he's bringing part of his new bill. So there's going to be different category prisoners or convicted people that are going to be not given the opportunity if they offend again to be released. Right. So it's all about that kind of two strikes and then you're out kind of situ Which situation. Which sense, doesn't Total it? Total sense. Yeah. Um, there's, there's some other uh, piece of uh, information that you've received recently, and these are all things you talk about in the book. You spoke to a forensic psychologist, Paul Britton. He yeah. was involved in the case. Yeah. Um, he said a few things to you, actually, that have had a very positive impact. Mm -hmm. um, just talk about a few of those, some things that brought you peace. Um, well, as you know, over the years, my mind's been working overtime, you know, not knowing exactly what happened to James and... I was probably thinking the worst case scenario. I know it was bad, the outcome was really bad anyway, yeah. but I had images of when James was still here, you know, what, what they'd done while he was still, yeah. Yeah. you know, alive. I, I think we have to make it clear here, and it's awful to say, but your greatest concern was that they had sexually abused him. Yeah, mm. yeah. But with the phone call, um, he assured me that James wasn't. Yeah. So that made me feel... A lot better than I've felt over yeah, near enough 30 yeah. years because I, I was strongly led to believe that James was sexually yeah. assaulted yeah, by yeah. them. And also, he described the, the two boys as they were then as murderers, yeah. Yeah. which we sort of reserve that term, you think, for more adults. Yeah. But And you were just sort of beating yourself up over the years, sort of calling these children, which they are, but as murderers. Mm. But he called them that, which yeah. sort of gave you permission to go, yeah. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. I mean, to do what they've done to the build-up of when they took James, you know, they, they tortured and killed animals. I'm sure I've told you this in the past. Yeah. Um, they tried to abduct another little girl out of the school two weeks before they took James. They tried to abduct a little girl in the strands that day. But her um, um, mum caught them. Mm. So then, you know, they went, they went on to take James. So their intentions were to take a child that day and murder yeah. her. Um, as Holly said uh, earlier on, um, this has been half your life. Yeah. Um, another big anniversary coming up. Mm. Ten years ago, you were in a very different place. Yeah. Mm. What is it that's enabled you? Is it these discussions that you've had with politicians and psychologists um, yeah. that has helped you move forward here? It is, but it's also um, right in the book as well. Um, you know, they, they overtook my mind. I was thinking about them a lot, but I shouldn't have been. I should have been concentrating on the fight for James, but every time I was doing something for fight, the fight for James, I was thinking of them too. And I thought, I can't do this anymore. So, I mean, my memory starts to fade of James, and I didn't even realise that I was losing that. So when Kim approached me and said to me, would you do a book? I was like, hmm. Then I thought, you know what, I think it's the right time to do it. And I thought, if I'm going to do one, I'll do it now, but on writing that book, everything come back to me. Yeah. All the happy little memories that I had with James, oh, everything good. come flooding back. So I'm thinking now, and I've even said to him, if I feel again that my memories are fading, all I've got to do is pick that book up and I can read about my little boy again. Yeah. There is some fantastic news, which I know our viewers will be really happy to hear about because your family has, has grown. grown. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you yes. have become a grandmother for we, the first yeah, time. Yeah. And this is Michael's little girl. Yeah, yeah. she's adorable. Oh. She's absolutely adorable. We absolutely love her. Me and Stuart do it on it. Yeah, Michael's partner's family do it on it. She's just loved, so much loved by us all. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, congratulations. She's... Oh, thank you. It's really lovely to hear. Um, Kim, the, 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 well, there are other positives <laughs> to come out of this appalling situation, this story, mm -hmm. um, and that is the fact that the Trust um, is set up to help others. Mm -hmm. um, in what way? So we help... Uh, families that have been affected by crime or bereavement. We don't just single it out for crime, but that could be children that have perhaps been a little bit naughty and they just need a little bit of guidance. The family probably need to su some support. Um, so we're there to help them, you know, and that's what Denise has always wanted to do. You know, it's, it's about helping families and support them and just be there 
you know, and Denise is in such a good place now and it's quite emotional for me to see that turnaround in her in the nine years I've been by her side because um, it was a big gamble to mm -hmm. do that book for her and she's in such a good place mm. and now she wants to do more to support other people mm. with the charity and to actually extend that now so she's more hands-on mm. and she can help people moving forward. I think with the book as well, I had such a good ghost writer. She didn't ask any questions about, you know, from the, the early days, the mm. dark days that I was living in. She went off and done all research. So. The, the bit that I got involved in with that book mainly was the, the happy memories that yes. mm. of James, and I wanted to share that with everyone because I've got so much support Talk about from it all everyone. Day. Yeah. 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 Well, we've known yeah. each other for a long time, yeah. and um, and it, it is lovely to see. As we've discussed so many times on this over with other people, you know, you never forget, it never goes away. You, no, no. you know, you do part of you becomes frozen mm. in time at that moment. But it's lovely to see you moving forward. Yeah. Um, and uh, and as you say, we've got the extra three chapters yeah. um, in here. Uh, thank you for coming in. Yeah, Thanks for having us. Lovely to see you. Good luck to the foundation as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.